Jason here from MTO Battery. Today we're going to go over how to check and see if your Segway is actually charging your batteries. So the first thing you need is a set of known good batteries. Uh, in this case I'm going, to, I'm going to use one battery that we have here. It's a test battery for us. I've got a generation one Segway. This happens to be an E stand. So I've got an extension cord coming out of the machine there. Uh, and that cord is going to plug into the battery pack. That's just for ease of video. Uh, it's the same as putting the, the battery right onto the machine, so no difference. So first thing we're going to do is look at the connector in the Segway battery. And what you're going to see is we have a positive and a negative, a positive and a negative. This positive and negative here is for this half of the battery. This positive and negative here is for this half of the battery. So what we're going to do to start this off is we're going to check the voltage between those terminals. So when I check that, I get 38.6. Now we're going to check it on the opposite side as well. And we have 38.7. So those are good numbers. Uh, if you use a meter that's not auto ranging, like this one here, uh, will automatically detect the voltage range and set it properly. So you get a good accurate reading. Some meters you have to turn them to 20 volts, 50 volts, 200 volts. When you have to set a range like that, you don't necessarily get quite as accurate of a reading. So that's important to know. Uh, but what matters the most is you remember the numbers that you read because after we charge the battery, we're going to be looking for higher numbers. Now just to point it out, if this had been a lithium battery, we would only be checking between this pin and this pin. Uh, this being the positive, this being the negative. This one and this one wouldn't have contacts in in a lithium battery. So that's the only thing unique with what I'm testing today. So I'm going to take and plug this harness into the battery. And now we can see on the Segway We got a flashing green light. So what we're going to do now is, is just wait until we get a solid green light. And we're going to be looking for those numbers to increase then above that 38.6 and 38.7 we're going to be looking for bigger numbers. Now, during this, this period of time where it's pulsing green like that, it's actually putting small pulses of energy into each battery cluster on the inside of the pack and it's taking the batteries that are not quite as charged as much as others, uh, bringing them up to the same voltage. That way all the batteries charge equally. Uh, at least that's the, the common goal of it is to, to get them all to charge equally and get the most out of your battery. Now if this had been a lithium battery we wouldn't be waiting for this, uh, it wouldn't be flashing green, we'd get a solid green right away. Shouldn't be too much longer, we'll get a solid green here. It's important when we do this check uh, that you do this check on both the front and the back of the Segway. When the, the CSB fails, which is the, the control shaft base, that's the part that the cord plugs into, the CSB can fail and it could charge neither battery uh, or quite commonly when it fails it'll only charge one of the two batteries. Uh, so here we go, we got a solid green that tells me this battery is now being charged so I'm going to leave it solid green here for another 15-20 seconds or so, see how it reacts, and uh, we'll unplug that, that battery from it, check and see what the voltage is, and document whether it went up or whether it didn't. If it went up, then the charger is definitely putting charge into the batteries. If the voltages did not change, or if the voltages went down, then we can safely cons uh, conclude that you know the charger is not putting charge in the batteries. All right. So 
So we've left that charge a little bit, not terribly long as you can see by the countdown in the video. So we're going to go in now. I'm going to unplug this and we're going to check this fairly quickly. Okay, so I got 38.9. That side went up. And 39. That side went up as well. So this battery is indeed being charged by this Segway. Had those numbers not increased, you know, we would know we definitely have another problem. So that's uh, that sort of concludes this video. That's uh, what we're looking for. Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. Ideally, when it goes solid green, I'd recommend, you know, leave it charged for a couple of minutes before you test it. But for the sake of this video and trying to keep it as short as possible, uh, I did it, you know, in much less time. So there you go. Have a great day. And uh, don't forget, go to www.mtobattery for all your battery needs. Take care, everybody.